Hey guys, how are you doing? Um, so today I've decided finally <laughs> to get around to doing this uh, little show and uh, showing off of the champion, I guess. Um, we did get fairly lucky. We pulled him out of a Cavalier crystal and then we duped him from a six star crystal. So um, yeah, pretty, pretty, pretty cool, I think. Um, it, it's one of it's one of the six star champions that you probably want as a dupe because of uh, his sick ability obviously makes him a lot better uh, with the dupe. Um, the, only, the only gripe I have is with him is he's not real, he's not a real strong attacker to be honest like compared to a lot of the other six stars I have in my roster um, his attack is really low. On the plus side though his health is really high so you know, he is built to be a defender, all that kind of stuff, and um, yeah, it kind of shows through his stats just alone, um, let alone his abilities. But anyway, I just wanted to bring up really quick um, this. Where is it? All right, so this is just the you know Kabam's uh, little page of him, and uh, yeah, just so about the champion. As an elder of the universe, uh, remember the champion is able to control the energy, uh, an energy source referred to as the power primordial, the residual energy that is left over from the Big Bang itself. He channels the energy to enhance his physical form and seeks out the greatest heroes in the u oh, greatest fighters, sorry, in the universe to test his limits of his power. Um, anyway, so I wanted to sort of show what his health is at a 565 because nobody really looks at 450 any or 4550s anymore um so you max him out without you know your um masteries and all that kind of stuff you've got a pretty decent health pool like 34,751 as base um again like i said attack's not super high it's only 19 uh 8, 1986 and uh, yeah, he's okay prestige, okay. <laughs> um, but yeah, I have him as a six star. I don't have him as a five star, but uh, get rid of this and we'll go into him a little bit more. Now we'll be, we'll be doing some gameplay in a sec um, and we'll show off sort of what he does and, and um, how he hits and how he takes a hit, I guess. <laughs> but anyway. So this is him. So I'm going to the attributes, so base attributes. Uh, so base health as a maxed sort of uh, rank one, he's looking at 25, 326. That's a little bit lower because of the masteries and stuff that I have. Um, the double edged mastery, I think it's called. Uh, but it does make his attack a little bit higher. So he's attacked, like I said, it does suck. Base attack, 1561, like, really, really low. If you consider it, so that's 1561 as base attack. So even, I don't know, go to Psylocke, which again, isn't a heavy hitter. Um, she's 1827. So if that gives you any indication of, you know, how soft he hits compared to even someone like Psylocke, which doesn't hit that hard, really. Um, or Gamora, which, you know, it's a bit harder again, but, you know, 1916 compared to 1500 and, uh, what was it? 1500 and 1561. So he is lacking in the attack sort of division there, but he has got bulk health. So again, all geared up towards a defender. Um, all the rest of the stats are meh. Uh, so his size is large, defensive utility, obviously, um, and hashtag elder. So he's not villain, he's not nothing like that, he's just elder, which is kind of cool. <laughs> um, all right, so we'll go through his uh, abilities and whatnot. We'll go through his sig ability first. So he's only been duped once, so his signature is only 20, and obviously six stars, you can't rank them up any other way apart from duping them yet because we don't have six stones. Um, but anyway, so we got Primer uh, Prime Primal Fury. Use your words. <laughs> um, so this is a passive, so 
Uh, when at least one of his Furies buffs is active, the champion unleashes the full potential of the Power Primordial. Uh, this increases the potency of his armor break by 85.68%. Um, like I said, scales with signature ability. Uh, additionally, when he activates two or more of his Fury buffs, he becomes unstoppable, shrugging off impacts of opponent's basic attacks for five seconds. <laughs> Pretty damn crazy. Um, while attacking or defending on the final node in the quest, aka boss node in AW, um, for each Fury at buff he, while he has uh, his unstoppable buff active, he regenerates 1.07% against scales with signature. Of the damage taken um, this fight per second uh, excluding obviously the amount already regenerated by his ability so it says here that the ability can regenerate up to a maximum of five percent health per second um, which is huge <laughs> um, uh, but if you go back to here I'll flick back over to here where was it I did see it down here Uh, yeah, so the developer note says um, he can activate unstoppable buff um, so 1.7 I assume this is a max sig 1.7 um, percent per fury so if you have five furies you could act you could technically get up to uh, 8.5 percent which is again pretty damn awesome uh, it's a lot of health considering you know um, how much they how much health he has you know what I mean so um, I assume it's probably scales uh, with all your different like your sal stuff oh my god <laughs> the other uh, regen sort of uh, masteries and stuff like that I'm not too sure I haven't checked that but Anyway, we'll get rid of that again. Go back into this. Uh, so yeah, definitely, definitely really good on um, a boss node or when, even when fighting a boss, he's pretty good as well. Uh, in addition to regen health, Champion is immune to Fate Seal, Heal Block, Petrify, and any other effects that modify re regeneration other than poison. So if you pretty much have Dr. Voodoo against him, you're gonna have a good time. <laughs> um, most other champions not so much uh, so his abilities here so he's got the persistent charge which is that little cool blue thing that's all you know the the new in thing with all the champions nowadays uh, so the champion channels the power primordial uh, the residual energy left over from big bang to enhance physical form and gain up to five persistent charges so Every 13 seconds, the champion will gain one persistent charge and activates a fury equal to the amount of persistent charges he has. So, if he has five, he'll get five furies, um, and each of these furies will gain, uh, will grant him 858.55 attack rating for 4.2 seconds. So, roughly, uh, it's about half of his attack rating um, each fury buff. So, his attack does go up a bit for four seconds <laughs> um, one persistent charge a loss for every 20 hits on the opponent's combo meter so uh, if they hit you for 20 20 hits then you lose persistent persistent charge uh, you can also nullify and uh, do all that sort of stuff as well um, another cool little side thing about this guy if you're fighting people like Star Lord uh, Sparky Corvus Glaive, I Hyperion, Iceman, Archangel, Blade, Gwenpool, Void, Hulk, Rags, Magic, or Ghost Rider, uh, you actually get persistent charges 28% faster, as well as um, increases the duration and the ability accuracy of all of his buffs by a flat 25%. So you're gonna get your Furies for a bit longer, so uh, what's that? Four seconds, you're gonna go up to like 5.3 nearly. Um, just off the top of my head <laughs> and uh, yeah you hit harder for a little bit longer so uh, while attacking or defending on the final node in a quest uh, he will get 683.33 armor and block penetration so um, smashes through smashes through a little bit more armor 
uh, light attacks if you have two persistent charges. Um, activates true accuracy for seven seconds if intercepting the opponent's dash. Uh, that can be really annoying if you're fighting one of those AIs that just seems to have amazing intercept skills for whatever reason. Um, but this ad ignores auto block and all evade effects. So uh, really good for Spider-Man, um, people like uh, Iron Man Infinity War, gets rid of all that. Uh, medium attacks, if you have three persistent charges, infix, inflicts armor break, break, sorry, <laughs> um, if intercepting a dash attack again. So uh, a lot of these abilities are reliant on intercepting the, uh, the dash attacks and stuff like that. So if you intercept God, unlike myself, you'll have a good time with him. So it uh, reduces the armor rating by 878.57 for six seconds. Pretty decent um, break there. Uh, then we've got a special one. So when the champion has four or more persistent charges, he spends one of them to activate a regen buff, regenerating uh, oh, 1093.04 random <laughs> health over three seconds. Now I've, I've used this a little bit in my fights and it works out roughly approximately to about 4% of your health. So if you can spam the SP1, you're gonna be regening for days, man. It's so good. Um, which, you know, again, because he takes so long to fight uh, and kill anyone, <laughs> it's kind of good because you can just you can just parry for days and and, and you're gonna be fine. Uh, so special two spends two persistent charges. If hitting an opponent, um, granting 8,200 uh, critical rating for this attack. Now this is uh, pretty much the only thing that I've noticed that he gets a decent amount of damage on. Um, if, you'll see my uh, little clips in a minute when I'm fighting like Winter Soldier. Uh, he, I think he gets like 7k for a couple of hits and then his final hit of the special two gets around about sort of 15 to 16k. Now this is the pretty much the only time I've seen him do anything decent damage wise, but it, while it is decent, um, I did have my Furies up, I did have this thing going on with the 8200 crit rating, and um, yeah, so it was it was a little bit sort of beefed up. <laughs> um, so, and then the special attack three spends uh, two persistent charges again, activates a Fury buff, granting 312.2 attack rating for 10 seconds. Um, Fury also counts towards the champion's primordial, a primal same for primal, primal fury signature ability so um, this will be on top of your other five that you can get from your persistent charges so you can get a total of six um, but it's it's not a lot of attack rating compared to the other ones because the other ones are 800 and something yeah 858 so it's, it's a mini fury buff but it, it goes for a bit longer uh, now quickly we'll go check out synergy bonuses so uh, he has a synergy here with Luke Cage called Tough Brawlers. So the champion is unstoppable when using a light and medium attack. Uh, this is really good if you um, if you're doing your sort of four hit dash out, come back in, and um, they just throw a you know, a cheeky light hit instead of a dash back in. You're still going to be unstoppable, so it, you're still going to land your attack and. Um, yeah, it's not going to phase you too much. I mean, you take a little bit of damage, but it's still going to still going to hit him. Uh, whereas Luke Cage gets a plus thirty five percent chance to inflict debuffs as long as Luke Cage never dashes back in a fight. Now, I've I've used this before. Um, it, it wasn't that great because you know you always sort of have to dexterity and stuff like that through specials and so pretty much if you can keep him in the corner and and just parry the crap out of them, then, I don't know, you could maybe special one them to, and stun them, hopefully, and just keep them stunned. But it's, yeah, it's, meh. <laughs> I thought it was a bit like, meh, anyway. Um, so we've got Persistent Force is the next one. So the champion, uh, when the champion has three or more persistent charges, he starts to gain, the uh, he starts the fight with Instructable Buff. Ignoring all incoming damage for eight seconds. 
this is pretty cool because you could have um, someone like uh, Iceman or something like that where you're going to take a whole heap of damage at the start of the fight if it's a you know high PI one or whatever or um, or someone like that that's always just going to start killing you at the start of the fight with unavoidable damage um, 8 seconds like I said so it, it, it might not be all of his frostbite but uh, you're going to be able to mitigate a lot of that damage uh, Mephisto gets 15% attack rating for each persistent charge. So I think he's got to five for memory as well. I can't remember exactly because I haven't used Mephisto really. Um, as I don't have him as a five star yet. <laughs> but um, yeah, that could be a decent amount of attack rating. So uh, maybe up to 75%, I'm not sure. Like I said, it could be more. Um, Sentry gains 12% attack rating for each reality warp. And again, another champion I haven't really used too much. But um, I've heard some decent things about this one. So it, it gives, you know, Sentry a little bit of a, a, a buff there. Um, then we've got Combo Fighter. So this is a synergy with Thor Ragnarok. Uh, champion gains persistent charge for every 20 hits on his combo meter. So this will allow you to get your persistent, uh, persistent charges up a bit quicker, um, other than having to wait for them through the timer. Um, so you can you can pretty sm you can get up to five fairly quickly with this synergy, um, as well as Thor. He has 0.8% uh, attack rating per hit in the combo meter, max 100 hits. So what's that up to eight eighty <laughs> percent? Oh my God, my brain just went. <laughs> um, so up to eighty percent attack rating. Um, so you can get like a, a little bit of a uh, a little bit of sort of extra attack going on there um not quite a star lord kind of threatening thing but still 80 percent attack rating is still fairly decent you know uh then we've got david and goliath so this is the one that is probably one of the better ones um depending on who you're fighting obviously so aegon um gets 20 percent attack rating while fighting larger champions i think he's a large champion off the top of my head um maybe even a medium not 100 percent sure but uh yeah while you're fighting them 20 percent bonus whereas on the flip side of that the champion gets 20 percent attack rating um while fighting smaller champions which a lot more champions i think are smaller champions than um the champions so kind of benefits him a little bit more and then we have uh the last synergy which is just a crit rating synergy with um, Drax and uh, Mephisto so if you can get the Mephisto one there uh, you can get both all sort of wrapped up into one little bundle but uh, yeah anyway guys you uh, have pretty much been told been schooled son <laughs> in uh, the champion's sort of abilities what his synergies are and all that kind of stuff now I'll just click over to some gameplay and um yeah, we'll uh, have a quick look through that for you. So here we go. We're going to go fight uh, Winter Soldier, obviously. <laughs> and um, yeah, we'll see how we go against him. So your first uh, persistent charge you'll get is the sort of passive one you get every 13 seconds. Uh, so there's our first one just there. And then our second one, obviously, we have from the synergy with Thor Ragnarok. So you get, uh, you get pretty much every 13 seconds or uh, maybe even quicker if you're a bit more aggressive, uh, two of the persistent charges up to a maximum of five. That um, the more you have obviously the, the better it's going to be because you're going to get more fury for each persistent charge. So you can see whether we've got five persistent charges or five furies, unstoppable. And we get the regen because we're over uh, over the th four buffs, I think it is. Or is it three? I think it's uh, three. But um, yeah, that regen is really handy. Like I said, it heals roughly about 4%. And uh, yeah, it's, it's really good. Um, especially if you're in fights that you pretty much have to take block damage somewhere. Can get some of that. You can get some of that damage back. 
There goes the regen right there. Takes us back up to 100% full health. They, um, Unstoppable is really, really handy because you can just go in and go ham on them without having to worry about getting hit and sort of interrupted. But, uh, yeah. Move on to the next bit here. Let's fast forward a bit. So in this bit, we're just um, trying to build our special two up and trying to um, make sure it lines up with when we get our Primal Fury like that. This will give us maximum damage. As you can see, we're hitting the 7.5k for each hit. And then the, uh, the finisher was the 15k there. So this is pretty much the most damage that I've managed to do with him. Um, that's it. As you can see, he doesn't do a lot of damage outside of that. But um, having sort of the Primal Fury with uh, the Max 5 Furies pop up, as well as that uh, Special 2 AD200 crit damage rating, really helps the guy along. He's, um, he's a bit of a, a wet noodle without that, but that does help him out, and you do do a decent amount of damage. Um, is it enough to sort of sway you into saying he's like, really 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 good attacker probably not but it does um it does give him some sort of confidence boost i think in in his ability but uh yeah i'll let you just fast i'll just let the rest of the fight play out and um yeah guys if you have any more questions about this dude feel free to leave them in the comments below uh if you want to see more also let me know if you like the video, hit that like button. If you, uh, you know, if you want to see more, maybe hit the subscribe. <laughs> Who knows what could happen? Um, but we've got a special three coming up anyway. Always, my friends were always into wrestling, so this is kind of cool for me to sort of reminisce about that kind of stuff when my friends would all be into this kind of wrestling gig. But I don't know. I didn't expect it to see an MCOC, but it's cool that it's here. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in the next video. Peace.